Hello wannabe mechanics, in this episode we are going to show you how to replace the wiper motor on a Skoda Octavia MK2, however the principle is about the same on any car. You can perform this operation everywhere you like and you won't need any expensive tools. To find out if the problem is mechanical just check the video in the description, it is a very nice tutorial on how to check for all the electrical possible causes like a burnt fuse, bad wiring or a bad wiper switch. Once you know it is the motor, go ahead and order a used or new motor and we will show you how to replace it step by step and what are the tools you will be needing to perform this operation. Don't go anywhere guys, meet you back in the shop right after our short intro. Ok guys, let's get started. The wiper motor is located under the plastic trim, so we first have to remove the wiper arms. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the plastic caps that protect the nuts holding the wiper arms in place. The wiper arms have a small opening, so you can pop out the caps easier. Use a ratchet wrench and a 13mm socket to remove the nuts. After removing the nuts, wiggle the arm until it breaks loose. Sometimes they get stuck and you might need a cheap wiper arm press like this one. This one was a bit more stubborn but eventually came out without using a press. Next remove the weather strip. Looks like someone improvised and added two more Phillips head screws to the equation. Now you can gently remove the plastic trim by pulling it upwards. Then remove the line for the washer fluid. This is where the motor is located and this is the mechanism moving the wiper arms.
because there is not enough space you will also have to remove the metal panel in front of it. To do that you have to remove two T27 bolts. Remove the metal panel and place it aside. Now remove the two T27 bolts holding the entire mechanism. Remove the connector from the motor as shown. To remove the entire assembly you will have to find the perfect position to pull it out. I then use the marker to draw the position of the lever so I can place it back in the same way. Use the 13mm socket to remove this nut. Now you have to remove this lever and if you want to completely get it out of the way, you can remove the other end of the metal arm. Use the T27 to remove the three bolts holding the motor.
You don't have to worry about the position because there are two indentations to help you place the other motor in exactly the same spot. Now we can install the other motor. Add some grease before putting the arm back. Use a pair of plumbing pliers to fit them back together. Realign the lever and then tighten the nut. Put the assembly back inside and fix it in place. Spray down some WD-40 to prevent corrosion and clean the electrical connector and then the slot. Let the two dry out and then insert the connector. You can now check if the motor is working. Time for the final check after putting everything back together and it works. Great job guys! Thank you very much for watching, use the comments section for any questions or suggestions and if you find our videos interesting, make sure you subscribe for the latest wannabe mechanic videos. Bye bye!